I'm Derek Kerr with Evolution Wheel, and today we're near Humphrey, Nebraska at one of our customers' farm fields. This is an 80 acre parcel. The pivot's mounted in the middle, but it's only working half the field. It's 180 degree span, so it's actually going back and forth quite repeatedly. The pivot can actually walk the full distance in about a 24 hour period, which allows this field and this pivot a lot of cycles through the growing season. We put our EWRS pivot series tire on the end tower because that's generally where the most load and torsion is on the towers. This is a seven tower system and it's been going since the start of the season with our tires. We'll show you what the rutting is like now and then we're gonna follow this set of tires through the season and show you exactly how they're performing as the season progresses. We're at a stage where the corn is just below waist height and it's really about to start using a lot of water. This field in particular is prone to a lot of rutting. The customer will generally have really deep pivot ruts and pivot tracks at the end of the season. The EWRS pivot tire is intended to help him with that as it's designed to reduce rutting and increase flotation so that you don't have those big tracks at the end of the season. The pivot's made about four or five passes so far. Let's go take a look at the terrain on this piece of ground so that we can show you what's gonna come throughout the growing season and before the corn gets so tall, we can't show you anything. Okay, so the pivot's coming behind me and I'm standing in the pivot track. If I'm looking down, I'm really not seeing a track to talk about. Nothing really I can measure in terms of depth to say that it, I've got a half inch track or an inch track. I can tell where the lugs have been in the past and that there's been a tire go through here because there's no corn growing in the track. Having said that, I can't tell you that it's one or two inches. It's indiscernible, at least in this spot of the field. Let's go take a look at some other places and see if we can find a deeper track. But as I said, we're gonna follow this pivot all the way through the season and we'll show you as it goes, how this track progresses. Okay, so you can see the pivot putting down water in my background. It's actually about at the exact spot that we just left and showed you the pivot track from after five passes. This is pass six and it just went through this low spot came down the hill into the low spot where there's nothing growing because of the amount of water that flows through here. There is a track in the low spot. Basically the pivot came down, entered the low spot and it was able to climb back out with no issue. So I'm happy with this. Five passes, this is past six through the season. And again, we're about to get into heavy watering, but this is a good place at this point of the season. Okay, so we're in the same field. Pivot's still going behind me. We just moved in one pivot tower to the second last tower on this pivot. It's running a pneumatic tire, and this is the track after the same run through the low spot. Six pass, as you can see, the tire's ridging on the way in, ridging in the track of the low spot, and then ridging on the way out of the low spot. So it's still early to tell, they're still fairly similar, but there is a little bit of a difference starting to develop after six passes. We'll definitely wanna watch this and see how it progresses throughout the season. That wraps up this video showing you our EWS Pivot Series tires near Humphrey, Nebraska. I'm Derek Kerr with Evolution Wheel. Stay tuned as we have lots more videos coming specifically about this set of tires in this field. We're gonna follow it all the way through the growing season and show you everything that it goes through. We're gonna show you pivot tracks, we're gonna show you traction, we're gonna show you everything. That way, next time you go to buy a set of tires, you can make an informed buying decision. We'll talk to you soon.